You know, it's always nice when you got people that you can count on, especially when you're in a bind, especially when you're in a pinch, when things are going a little bit rough. It's always nice when you can call somebody up and say, hey, things are a little bit rough right now. Can you come through for me? And they come through every time. That's exactly who Ronald Darby was for the Baltimore Ravens last year. Baltimore Ravens, they started last offseason with Marlon Humphrey, and they signed Rocky Sin. And then they had some other quarter, cornerbacks like Jalen Alma Davis. Uh, they had Pepe Williams. Who, they had Ardarius Washington, guys who we thought, okay, they're going to step up this year, and that's going to be our secondary. All right, good to go. Let's get it. Marlon Humphrey got hurt. Marlon Humphrey got, got hurt. Um, somebody that I also forgot to mention, Brandon Stevens, who was excellent, amazing last year. He stepped up a lot. But the Baltimore Ravens needed somebody else to step up too. For, Rob, for whatever reason, I don't know what the reason was. I'm still confused on it, but it was Rocky Scene for a little bit, but quickly it ended up not being Rocky Scene. But somebody who, in every single opportunity they were given from the Baltimore Ravens, that they stepped up in, they made plays in, uh, was Ronald Darby. Ronald Darby filled in nicely for the Baltimore Ravens last year. And that's why so many Ravens fans, so many of us wanted the Baltimore Ravens to keep, to re-sign Ronald Darby. Because he not only gave the Ravens quality depth, but he gave them somebody that could come in and start if he needed to. But he is now going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's signing a two-year deal worth up to $10 million. And that's good for him. That's, excuse me, that's great for him. Now, I'm sure to get to the 10 mil, it's going to take a lot. It'll be probably mixed in with interceptions, maybe with yards giving up, games played, snaps played, stuff like that. So we'll find out what the base salary is for this contract, I'm sure, within the next 30 minutes to an hour. But regardless, Ronald Darby is getting a nice pay raise, and I'm sure he's going to get more opportunity. And that's what it's all about. Getting your bread and getting the opportunity to show people, to show the world uh, what it is that you can do. Um, so shout out to Ronald Darby. Um, again, I was hoping that the Baltimore Ravens were going to keep him. Uh, because, again, Baltimore Ravens always get tested. The, the, the secondary gets tested like crazy. The depth in the secondary gets tested like crazy every single year without fail. But he came through. He showed up. And he showed out. And my favorite thing about him that I loved about him was probably the one-on-one -on -one open field tackles. It didn't happen every single game, but there were some plays. I forgot which games it was, but there were some plays that really stood out throughout the year, and he would make some open field tackles. Just him and the receiver, just one-on-one, -on -one, out on open field. You know, that's one of the hardest things to do. But when he did it, I was like, oh, yeah, let's go, Ronald Darby. Um, but, yeah, he, he again, somebody who stepped in and, and filled their role and did an excellent job of it. Jaguars. Uh, you're getting a nice one, and I'm not sure if he's going to be the start over there. I'm not sure what the J Jacksonville Jaguars, what their cornerback situation is right now, but, yeah, he'll be good for it.